it's it's amazing how uh, our world has changed. Society has uh, brought their ideas in the forefront, and some kind of way the world have embraced and, and taken hold to uh, whatever society say. Uh, there's a challenge of the Word of God. The Word of God is being challenged on, in every level. And there's a, there's a great demand for the church, as Dr. Twig said, to be the church. It's time for the church to be the church. I know that while, while we're going through these phases uh, in our life, uh, it's going to not get better, but it's going to get worse. Trying to get our children. Somebody say children. children. I, I, I really appreciate my, my, my wife, first thing, for acknowledging our firstborn yeah. celebration. It does my heart good to see our children operate in ministry. Yeah. I was so happy. Poor Sandra, she worked her food head off for me. Normally every year, 
around this time, pastors have 30 days of prayer fasting. Y'all remember last year? I called a fast on New Year's. We couldn't meet on, for about, well, how long was that? Seven, eight, two days? Whatever it was, we couldn't meet. And people said, why did you do that? Right? Did that so we can make it through 2015. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yeah. But, but some kind of way, we have to recognize when we have left God. Yeah. Amen. He already put it in pen. You go back and you read the scriptures in the Old Testament time. You read in Chronicles, I think it's 714. Mm -hmm. it, it, it tells us clearly that people are going to leave God. In the seventh chapter of the book of Chronicles, right. Solomon was saying, Lord, you know, hey, God, you know, these are your people, you know, and, and, and your people, great people, and you're covering us, and you're watching over us. He said, but God, if the truth be told, your people are going to leave you. They're going to turn their back on you. And, 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 and what can you do about it? And so the, the Solomon kept on talking to God. Solomon was praying, you know. Okay. When, that, when I say he was talking to God, he was praying. And, and, and God was telling, you know, Solomon was saying, you know, well, if you shut up heaven and there's going to be no rain, or if the locusts devour the crops, or, you know, uh, eat up everything that we have. Listen, we had a, 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 a devastation of locusts eating up our crops in 2008. Ate up everything that we had. Amen. And we were crying out to God. Everybody was crying out to God because we were broke. Somebody help me in this place. Amen. Amen. And, and, and you, we seen tsunamis and we seen fires over here and, and, and lava coming down over here and earthquakes coming down over here. We seen all kind of catastrophes happening here in our lifetime. And so, so, so uh, it lets me know that some kind of way we've walked away from God. We've gotten out from the umbrella. Okay, and, 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 and so it's hard to get somebody to reel them back in to admit that they've left God. We don't want to talk like that. We don't even want to hear sermons like that. We want to jump and shout opposed to really things that's going to get us to get right with God. Because when you get right with God, he going to fix things in your life. Israel said that when we walked away from you, uh, we know we had to return. And, and the word came through Hosea saying, he tore our hearts. He tore them apart. But he turned around and bind them up. He man, sold them up, stitched them up. You know, and that's almost like a good parent. A good parent will give you a good word. <laughs> yeah. That'll get your attention. That's what got Israel's attention. God gave them a good woman. Mm -hmm. Didn't kill them. No. A good woman. No. And when he gave them that good woman, he turned around and put sad on them, and healed them, and delivered them, and bound them up, blessed them, caused them to do right. And Israel recognized both sides of it. They recognized the whipping, mm -hmm. and they recognized the blessings. That's right. And can you imagine what would happen if we took a stand in our house? Every household that's a Christian took a stand for God, a real stand for God. Mm -hmm. What do you think would happen? What, what, what's the first thing we would have to do in our households? to get our households right. First thing we would have to do is establish we're going to have to start praying and talking to God. And if we're going to pray and talk to God, we don't need to ask God for anything. That's right. Because we got more than what we can ever, ever use. I wish I had somebody that just can visualize your closet right now. Jesus. You don't have nothing to wear, but you can't get nothing in that closet. <laughs> I'm preaching now. Maybe it's just a few of y'all that's got a few things in, in the closet. But I promise you, some of those few things are Jordans. 
Amen. Amen. Y'all help me somebody. <laughs> Some of those few things you have in your house are PlayStations, computers, Amen. iPads. Y'all help me here. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hmm? Somebody help me. And, and so Israel was at a state where they had to come back to God. They first they had to recognize that they left God. And they had a, it was in a position where they realized that God was whipping them, amen, or causing them to be whipped for not being under the umbrella. When you are, are walking uh, let's just say husband and wife team and you got one of the big old umbrellas and the husband got the umbrella up and you walking down the road in the rain, amen, y'all help me, amen. Y'all want to walk down the road with the one you love? Yeah. <laughs> I heard in the Sunday school something like that, it was something to that effect, it wasn't the exact same thing, but, but when, you, when, you, when you're in love, somebody say love. love. When you're in real love, your husband had the umbrella up and your wife, you know, they just, they hug, you know, it ain't because the rain is out there, so, you know, they love it up. And got the umbrella. And, and when, uh, when, when the wife get mad at the husband to step out of, of under the umbrella, guess what happened? She gonna get wet. I'm preaching. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, don't whip, I don't whip right on into, into uh, uh, couples more and more. <laughs> Singles are sitting there and saying, well, what about me? Well, if you're single and you got an umbrella up, you're still covered. If you walk around and you don't have an umbrella up, you're not covered. Y'all help me. Because <laughs> we get so traditional and so caught up in church and say you're not covered unless you got a man. That the devil is a lie. <laughs> So, 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 but if you stay under that umbrella, you can be protected, you can be covered. And so when Israel pulled away from God, God allowed them to get tore up. As soon as they start getting tore up, they start crying out to God. And when they start crying out to God, they couldn't, you can't go praying to God about anything except for repentance when you left him. The call has to be, first of all, it is repentance. You got to acknowledge to God that you get messed up. I, Lord, you know, I know what's going on. I'm not in a dead church. I'm dead. I'm going to say that one more time. Because same folks think that the church that they're in is dead. And it's not the church that you in, it's you. Amen. Because <laughs> Solomon said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves, humble themselves and pray. Amen. Which tell me he wasn't talking about sinners. Mm -hmm. Wasn't talking about not his people. Mm -hmm. So I come to grips and realize if I run over to another church is that because I'm dead. Uh, huh? Because if you got the Holy Ghost you have I was waiting for that. See, you got it. You, know, you got the Holy Ghost, you got power. Right? And if you got power, no weapon that's formed against you shall have power. So if things are overtaking you, that means your power like has dimmed or gone down. Or your power you got a battery. I wish I had some kids with a PlayStation and the battery went down. Or, 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 or a Wii station or something the battery went down. You can cut it off, but you, can't, you really can't function right because you don't have enough power. Well, well, if you would, if you would say, okay, and be honest with yourself and say, you know what? I don't have enough power. Well, and ask me, say, Bishop, how can I get the power? Come on, y'all. I'm trying to go home. Tell me, ask me, how can I get the power? Really, 
I mean, just tore up the place in here. I, I got so much, I wrote notes. I didn't even preach on the notes that she gave. But one of the things that she said that is like, a, you know, it's like a trap. You know, you get, get caught in a trap. You can't go nowhere because you're caught in the trap that you're in. Some of us have traps and have devices that's got us bound, that we can't move, we can't go nowhere. We can't go forward, can't go backwards, can't do nothing. Amen. And the only trap that I can think of is one of those things that you open up and when they step in it, clamp and smack. Come on here, somebody help me in this place. I don't know what you call them things. It's Enjoying themselves. They were doing a lot of 
kept past. They wasn't doing a lot. They, 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 was, they was not doing it. They was not doing it. Chitin on Trina. They was Trina. I'm just lying there. Sugar, sugar, you boo. But, but my, my, the purpose is what I'm saying is when you get to the place that you come to God's house, you ought to come with a praise on your mouth, praising your heart. Listen, and not only should you just have a praise, but you ought to give it to God. Huh? You ought to give it to God. Somebody said, well, you know, it, it don't take all that. I'm telling you, it takes all that and some more. You want to keep the traps off of you? Better not forgive somebody. When you can genuinely come in here and praise God, amen, you got, you got to get in, get in a place and a posture and a position that you don't have no problems in praising God. I don't need nobody to pump me up to praise God. I can pump myself. I got to pump her up. I, you know how you're in the hospital, you lay in the bed, and, 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 and you start aching, amen, and, and you, you don't have to hit the button to call the nurse. They give you a pump her up. Somebody help me in the place. And they got some pump her up. They got shoes that sparkle, shoes that light.
The only thing that I saw out of there was it's based on two, two facts. Mm -hmm. When it hit the bottom, the brain yeah. mm -hmm. The brain shakes. So that means that's why mothers go to jail for shaking their children. Mm -hmm. Man. You want to be real or more play? Get real. We can be in church and, and, and say, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Mm -hmm. Or we can deal with the real issues that we're facing in life. Amen. Parents, you have to learn how to talk to these older mothers that already had children. They can tell you what to do with children. Tell you how to bring them up. Children are off the chain. Hmm. But parents that brought them up can tell you how to get them on chain. Amen. That's off the chain, back on the chain. First of all, you don't need any more on the chain. Just get them, get them, just get them to settle down. How do, you, how do I get them to settle down? How, ask me how I get my children to settle down. I can't tell the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you can read between the lines. Amen. Children were on the chain. They were on the chain. They didn't like it, but they stayed on the chain. Huh? Now, I'm trying to teach them another way of training them to bring their children up. Someone said, well, why? It worked for you? Why are you going to try to teach them another way? Because they can't do what I did. Exactly. Not today. Huh? You can't do what I did. Not today. But if you ask me what did I do? I can't tell you because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs>
Sixty-two. <coughs> Come to this altar right 